Khalil Gibran, the prophet following on religion. And an old priest said, speak to us of religion. And he said, have I spoken this day of aught else? Is not religion all deeds and all reflection? And that which is neither deed nor reflection, but a wonder and a surprise ever springing in the soul, even while the hands hew the stone or tend the loom? Who can separate his faith from his actions or his belief from his occupations? Who can spread his hours before him, saying, This for God and this for myself, this for my soul and this other for my body? All your hours are wings that beat through space from self to self. He who wears his morality but as his best garment were better naked, the wind and the sun will tear no holes in his skin. And he who defines his conduct by ethics imprisons his songbird in a cage. The freest song comes not through bars and wires. And he to whom worshipping is a window to open but also to shut has not yet visited the house of his, of his soul, whose windows are from, from dawn to dawn. Your daily life is your temple and your religion. Whenever you enter into it, take with you your own. Take the plow and the forge and the mallet and the lute, the things you have fashioned in necessity or of delight. For in reverie, you can't rise above your achievements nor fall lower than your failures. And take with you all men, for in adoration you cannot fly higher than their hopes nor humble yourself lower than their despair. And if you would know God, be not therefore a solver of riddles. Rather, look about you and you shall see him playing with your children. And look into space, you shall see him walking in the cloud, outstretching his arms in the lightning and descending in rain. You shall see him smiling in flowers, then rising and waving his hands in trees on death. Then Almitra spoke, saying, We would ask now of death. And he said, You would know the secret of death, but how shall you find it unless you seek it in the heart of life? The all whose night-bound eyes are blind and to the day cannot unveil the mystery of light. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death, open your heart wide unto the body of life. For life and death are one, even as the river and the sea are one. In the depth of your hopes and desires lies your silent knowledge of the beyond. And like seeds dreaming beneath the snow, your heart dreams of spring. Trust the dreams, for in them is hidden the gate of eternity. Your fear of death is but the trembling of the shepherd when he stands before the king, whose hand is to be laid upon him in honor. Is the shepherd not joyful beneath his trembling? that he shall wear the mark of the king, yet he is not more mindful of his trembling. For what is it to die but to stand naked in the wind and to melt into the sun? And what is it to cease breathing but to free the breath from its restless tides 
that it may rise and expand and seek a God unencumbered? Only when you drink from the river of silence shall you indeed sing. And when you have reached the mountain top, then you shall begin to climb. And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. <laughs>